What's up everybody? Today we're talking about the civil engineering career field in the Air Force. So I've got my friend Khadija here and she is going to talk to us about her experiences as an active duty civil engineering officer in the Air Force, what civil engineering does and what you might be able to expect and common questions that you might have about joining that career field yourself. So let's get to it. All right, so Khadija, tell us about the civil engineering career field. What do you do? So what CE does for the Air Force is we mainly maintain the base when you're at home station, but we also are prepared to repair the runway in case of an attack. So maintaining the base, there's a lot that kind of goes into that one, the day-to-day -day maintaining of the base, which is like if there's any HVAC issues or if there's any like structural road repairs, anything like that really that keeps the base going so everyone else can do their mission. That's what Seaton does. All right, so what's your primary job and what does an average day look like for you? So I'm in the engineering flight. It's one of these six flights. So we have ops, engineering, installation management, fire, EOD, which is explosive ordnance disposal, and emergency management. So in engineering, what we do is we plan and prepare for the future. It's a lot of developing projects. You'll see construction going on. That all falls under the engineering flight. And so a typical day for me, I am in the office a lot. It's a lot of programming on the computer just to really define the requirements and kind of get the projects going. But uh, yeah, so day to day for me is I am in the office quite a bit. I'm not quite outside like you might expect a civil engineer to do. And how much do you get to interact with other engineers? Quite a bit, especially currently that now that we're deployed, we have our design team is completely contracted out. So we work with them closely while they're developing our projects, while they're designing them, kind of putting the packages together. I get to work hand in hand with like our civils, our mechanical engineers. It's, really, it's been a really great um, opportunity. But a home station is the same setup as well. A lot of the CE is contracted out. So our designers and such are civilians. And so I get a lot of input and I can really bounce a lot of ideas off the other engineers. Does the Air Force offer engineers opportunities to continue their education? There's actually quite a lot. So we have this thing that's called AFIT, which is like our schoolhouse. So you can take classes throughout the year for those ones. Like currently I'm taking the intro to mechanical systems class and that really just kind of though I'm CE I'm actually mechanical through school that one is really just kind of refreshing my mechanical skills that I learned but they have a lot of like civil courses mechanical things really the information that you would need to know to help maintain the base you can also get your master's through CE as well you can do it at gym which is like your general engineer management degree or if you wanted to go and do future things with CE you can do it like the CI program which is civilian institute so that would allow you to go to a school as if you were a civilian but you're still with the military so there's a lot of options with nice. me it's pretty cool yeah <laughs> all right so i didn't mention before if you haven't noticed i am currently deployed and khadija is here deployed <laughs> with me so khadija what is the deployment tempo like for civil engineers so the, our mission, home station and deployed, we are still maintaining the base and kind of protecting the base and being able to repair it. I'm at an ACC base back at home, so we deploy pretty often. And there, it takes a lot of CE folk to maintain the base, so we kind of come almost as like our whole squadron kind of deploys. But yes, our tempo is pretty it's pretty often. As a, as a lieutenant, I'll probably deploy twice. A lot of other career fields can't say the same, but yes, yeah, CE, we, we do deploy quite a lot. So how does the work that you do on deployments compare to the work that you do at home station? So before I deployed, a lot of people back home would say like you're gonna love it. You actually get to do your job when you deploy. I didn't quite know what they meant. I definitely, I definitely see it. Here deployed, it's like we military, we're like we're jobbing it. Like we do what we say that we're supposed to do. Back home station, it's really civilian ran. We have a lot of for continuity. We ha we work with civilians really closely. Here it's just us. So. It's pretty cool. I've gotten to really get hands in and really kind of learn my job more than I did back home. So now I'm gonna go back home even more prepared than I like I left it. So it's pretty cool. So do you feel like your work as a civil engineer with the Air Force would allow you to transition well to a civil engineering job in the civilian sector? Actually, I do. So even though I am mechanical, I feel like I've learned quite a bit of civil material just being in CE. A lot of people, as they retire, they transition into project management. And so I've got quite a lot of project management experience and I feel like I can definitely take that with me just being able to kind of keep up my class material kind of continue to further my education I think that'll definitely set me up for the future as well all right so we've spoken a lot about what you do but what are the requirements to become a civil engineering officer in the Air Force civil engineering sounds very misleading when I first told I was going to be in a civil engineer squadron I was like do they know I'm mechanical like I don't know anything about civil but actually because like I said it's kind of maintaining the base there's a lot of systems that go into facilities which we maintain basically the requirements to 
to being a civil engineer officer is you have to have a, an engineering degree. So that can be civil, electrical, mechanical, any of those, but also an architect degree. That oh. will also allow you to be a CE officer. Nice. <laughs> Who knew, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so super big thanks to Khadija for coming here and speaking with us about your job. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. It is completely free to you and it does actually help the channel and lets me know that the information that we're providing is actually useful. So this video is a part of a series that I've created where I interview other Air Force officers from different career fields. So maybe if you're interested in joining the Air Force, but you don't know all of the different opportunities that exist for career fields that you might be able to pursue or you already know what career field you want to pursue and you want to be able to hear somebody who is actually in that career field talk about what they do on a day-to-day -day basis this would be a great opportunity for you to get to learn more about the Air Force and the jobs that we have so please make sure to check out that playlist I've also got a ton of other videos on military related topics so make sure to check out all of the videos in that playlist as well because all of that information can be super helpful no matter what job you're in whether you are officer or enlisted i do appreciate your time i thank you for being here and i'll see you